We are glad that we've been able to serve as a catalyst to make this happen. Um, before I came into office, about 12 or so years before I came into office, the conversations had been on, discussions had been on, but we realized that it was not going to go anywhere except the Edo State Government stepped in, and it was the intervention of the Edo State Government that facilitated the, 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 the returns of these works and you know, the increased conversations around the return. So for us, we've just said as a catalyst, how are we going to benefit from it? Like you've heard from the, from the presentation, it's not the work in themselves. It is the whole ecosystem that we will be creating. These pieces coming back serve as a point, contact point, to begin work, research work, as to who we are as a people. So by bringing them here and having this sort of facility, will the research that will be undertaken will be undertaken by us and local it will be now locally contextualized for us to make meaning. Secondly, it will stab as a stimulation, because Edo people are still very creative. So the same people who created these world-class pieces 500 years ago is the same blood that flows in their veins today. Many of them are expressing themselves in different art forms and in different media. But there is nothing institutionalized. There is no infrastructure to support them. So a facility like this will be that you know, infrastructure, which will be second to none on the continent to support our budding artists, you know, whether in the traditional arts, in music, in entertainment. So what we've done with the Victor Wife will create a problem. The third will be creating a, an economy out of our culture. We sit in Nigeria and you can see the buzz. You can see what is happening in some of our cities. You know, people are going in there for access, their exhibitions, fashion exhibitions, people all over the world are flying in. But we are art, we are culture. So if there are any world class cultural events are to take place in this country, it has to be in the inner city. But it cannot happen if you don't have a infrastructure. Or the facilities too. So, the, just creating a, a, a cultural hub like this in the city center will provide that infrastructure for us to be the home of culture, which we naturally are. Amoa is raising money internationally because, as you know, Amoa is a charitable trust. It's a trust. It's a charitable trust. Yeah open platform to raise money to help us preserve our heritage. It's not a money-making venture. Nobody's making money from this. People are people are going out, spending their energy, spending their resources, spending their connections to try and make Edo, uh, well, put, you know, put Edo before the world to make Edo attractive for people who globally are concerned about preserving the preservation of heritage to also take an interest in Edo. And they want to see a certain type of institution to do it. And something that is transparent, something they can see through. And that is what MOA has done.